That music is like that. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with all of these amazing entrepreneurs. Yeah, it's amazing to hear. You guys are so great. Yeah. What a great, great group. Um, so let's get cut right to the chase. What is hot in social networking? <laughs> so when you asked me that, I, I prepared an answer, and then I'm like, oh my god, this week I had such a great experience with. Is anybody on Google Plus right now? Barely. Barely. Yeah. Okay. So even beyond Google Plus, Google put something out. No all that recently, but not that long ago either, called Google Hangouts. Yeah. Anybody do a Hangout? Okay, so, one of the things I really recommend people do is get video done for their business because people want to see you and experience you, especially if you're in a consulting type of situation. I know you do a ton of video and I know I've recommended that. And Google Plus makes it so easy, actually, the Google Hangout part of it. You can start a Hangout like that, invite somebody, and just with the webcam that's either built into your computer or a cheap $35 webcam, you can have video. You can also screen share from Google Hangouts. So that's really hot right now. The other thing that's really important, that's up and coming and hot, is mobile. Okay, how many of you have a smartphone? Okay, that was more hands that were on social media. <laughs> you know, so, like, they're gonna, they say by the year, 2015, which is really right around the corner, that uh, like 100% of people are going to have who have have phones are going to have smartphones. And do you know that there's more phones, cell phones in the world than there are people? <laughs> so there, some people are going to have more than one. I heard that there's more people that own a cell a uh, smartphone than a toothbrush. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Which is really Y'all have to have a website, right? Y'all know that. So you can talk on the phone with the piece of damage. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sure there's an app for that, right? Yeah. <laughs> to your team. Oh, it's kind of sad. And um, anyway, I do love the world of social media marketing, and now mobile is hot. So more people are going online to shop on their phones. We're going to see a lot of that more statistics coming out, you know, this holiday season. So if you don't, if your website, first of all, is not mobile ready, what they call it mobile responsive, you want to talk to me or talk to somebody who does create mobile responsive websites. The second thing you want to do is create a mobile app for your web presence as well because then it makes it super easy. You can do push notifications. Anybody know what push notifications are? Those things that just pop up on your smartphone anytime to anybody who has your app. Huh. Yeah, huh. You can put quote of the day, exercise reminder of the day, a, vi a link to a video, like a hangout you did. So it's all coming you know, full circle. And then, I don't know if any of you have heard, but rumor has it, just something cutting edge for you, the mini iPad is coming out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Mini yeah. iPad. Really? So it's going to be about the size of a Kindle. And uh, we're not sure what the price point is, but it'll probably be less than a full iPad, um, maybe more than an iPod Touch, or maybe around the same. Who knows? This is all rumor you heard it here first. <laughs> so. so smaller than that? Smaller than that, probably, yeah. A little bit. It'll be like a Kindle. Or ha almost a little bigger than half of the iPad. But, you know, we won't need phones anymore. We'll just use tablets and you know, mini iPads and Kindles, who knows what's happening. It's very exciting. That's the bleeding edge that I know of. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, it's, it's and it's just changing all the time. Totally. Yeah, and tomorrow I'll have new news for you. And who's on, who's on Pinterest here? Yeah, yeah. That's, and the cool thing about Pinterest is that it actually, you it clicks right back to your website. Yes. You can upload images or uh, include images from your website and ideally your blog pages. That when people click on the image, they get it drives traffic right to your blog or your website. And it's great. The, the demographic using it most is women. Anybody have women in their target market? <laughs> Good. Well, then you want to be on Pinterest for sure as well. Just in like the first month, I started using Pinterest when I got on my Google Analytics. It was like the third highest driving traffic to my site in one month. I couldn't believe it. It's, it's phenomenal that, that it's having great results for people getting visibility. And I'm going to teach all about that 
in the Pinnacle program. Yeah, so what are, what are some of the most important rules that you've got to follow on social media to build a steady flow? Okay, so you definitely want to build a network and you definitely want to be there as a professional person. So you need to have the mindset that first of all, this isn't rocket science. <laughs> and second of all, that you're there to build relationships on purpose with people in your market, not just your friends and keeping things separate. We live in a blended, connected world. So, but it is social, that first word social media, and you need to reach out in a relationship oriented way. One of the easiest, most uh, attractive ways to do that is do something that I call acknowledge people, congratulate people, praise people, compliment them, be positive, keep your negative stuff off, you know, follow that golden rule of mommy I already told you, if you can't say something nice, don't say it at all, I believe in that on social media. Uh, and definitely um, engage with leaders. Uh, we're meeting with a leader right here today on social media, both of us, we can you can interact with us. And why would you want to do that? Because we have visibility. We can give you visibility. Just by you interacting with a leader gives you that visibility to their network. There's no such thing as co competition. I call it coopetition. It's all about <laughs> relationships. So reach out in a relationship or in your way. Give. Give your best stuff away. People will want more of you, not less of you. People if, people, if you're afraid, oh, if I give my stuff away, then they won't hire me. Well, then those aren't your clients. They're going to want more of you. So give, give, give. And remember to do it right. So in order to do it right, you need to know. You either need to get some training on how to do it for business and or invest in your professional presence also. Make sure you have the right, a good professional photography uh, of yourself, a photograph done professionally, please, please, please. And get some, now that it's so graphical these days, you really want to have a nice cover image, you want to know, look like you know what you're doing so people want to hang out with you. Those are my basic rules. Yeah, and you know, I always liken it to, if you go to a networking meeting, you are getting to know people, right? You're connecting, you're building relationships, you're not going up to someone and go, hey, you want to buy my product? Because it's such a turnoff, right? And so it's the same thing on social media. Pretend like you're in a networking function and you're building relationships with people, you're getting to know them. That's such a great point because um, in addition to what I just said, you want to ask people about them. Make it about them. And how can you help them or you know, ask them a question about their business. So what do you do, I'm sure people will love this question, if you, you have a Twitter account, you've got Facebook, you've got LinkedIn, and not, it's not getting you any results. Now what? Well, first of all, check back with these rules. Are you, are you giving and acknowledging and, and asking them about them, engaging? Are you giving, acknowledging, or engaging? If you're not doing one of those three, please start. Uh, I actually had a conversation with somebody during the break about that. So start engaging and talking to people. You'll be amazed at the response you get. Also, if um, are you breaking a rule? One of, one of my rules, or are you making a common mistake, is selling. If you're trying to sell and push and promote yourself, it's a repellent. Stop it. Build relationships. Okay. And then thirdly, if you still can't figure out why, get Hire a consultant. <laughs> we'll figure it out together because um, th there is a way to connect. And I know that sometimes trying too hard actually pushes people away. But allowing people to come to you is, is very powerful. And it may just be a slight tweak in it. And also, when you get on one of my most important rules, and I know you can appreciate this, is have a strategy, a well thought out plan strategy. When I do the class, what I typically do is I make everybody understand that you have to have a strategic approach to using your social networks. Otherwise, you'll, get, you'll go down all kinds of rabbit holes and then you'll wind up spending your whole day on it. Twitter or something like that. Yeah, I mean, when I became much more strategic with uh, my social media, number one, it saved me a ton of time. I really figured out what's working and what's not working. I'm, you know, My time is very valuable. And uh, you know that made a huge difference. The other thing too is that I like I put a lot of inspiring things on my page. I'm constantly putting inspiring quotes, 
Jared helps me with graphics and things like that. So people come to my page to get some inspiration, to get some business news, and then I will sprinkle in, you know, about the event or you know my free CD or this product or that. It's not that I don't sell, I do, but I do way more of the other stuff so that people want to come and learn and then they they want to know more. And I would say for anybody new on the social networks, do you really limit any kind of selling in the beginning. You have a following. You've proven yourself. Go ahead and develop your followings first. Then you can start bringing in slowly a little bit here and there sprinkling of the more promotional. And first of all, you know, you can promote free stuff. Yeah, free webinars, teleseminars, and that's a way of building your list, right, for future sales. So, um, now, how can people now turn the social networking into sales? Because a lot of people say that, well, I have a big following, but I don't know that I'm really getting any business from that. Well, I think you're just starting to hit on it. If you're, if one of the things you can use social media for is building your list by giving away free content. And remember I said give your best stuff away free? Well, give value. First, you can just give it, like in tips and things like that, but then you can also have a higher um, cost, so to speak. Free, the cost is their name and email address. And in Facebook in particular, you can embed right into a page your opt-in form, which is very cool. And also you can just drive people to the link to opt-in. Hey, I want you all, I'd love to get your opinion on this great ebook. You know, even if it's that simple, you don't have to be like, oh, rah, rah, get this fabulous, blah, blah, blah. It can be that. And it can be as simple as I'd love to get your opinion on, you know, or help have people help you name the product. You know, I'm, I'm creating an ebook, it's about this. What what name do you like best or suggest another? Engage. You know, and then guess what? When it comes out, you announce it, and you, then you give it for free, and then you, then they're on your email list, and then on your email list, they basically have given you permission to start kind of contacting them more regularly, giving them more value, and letting them know what offers you have, and you're converting. You really don't have to sell if you're giving quality value that people need and to your target market. And that's where the strategy comes in, is attracting a target market first. Because if they like what they are seeing, they're going to go check out your website. I've had a lot of people do that. Um, I've had several clients come to me through social media. Uh, I met Dallas through Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. So, And yeah. with my book, what I heard when I did my book launch, people loved that I really engaged with a lot of people. I talked to them, I got to know them. So they really got behind me when I wanted to get that book to number one. They became part of my team to help me do that. I wasn't an author that was just kind of hiding behind the curtain. I was really connecting with people and building a relationship. So they were just excited as me to get, get the message out there. Facebook also has great ads and uh, a whole system where you can do three kinds of ads. You can do promoted posts, you can do sponsored stories, and you can do straight Facebook ads. So there's another way to build your following, get known, and you know you want to start doing more things when you have more people watching as <laughs> well. Yeah. Well, this is great. I mean, we, we have like one more minute. Are there any questions? Hi, Laura. Hi, Hi Laura. Laura. I like, I retweet, I pin you. You're a great inspiration to me as I get my bearings on social media too. One of the problems that I bump into when I'm doing a presentation or introduction to a old, much older generation is they want to see the concrete ROI. How do I measure, how do I show them the return? That's a really nebulous on area social media? on social media. I'm using social media? Okay. okay, so concrete ROI, you have to keep statistics of results that you get yeah. and also look up statistics that people get. But really the ROI is that they're in business. They remain in business. Because if they're not on social media, they lack a certain level of credibility. And if they lack credibility, people are going now, like they used to go to just Google and look you up, and look up your website. Well, what comes up on Google now is your Facebook pages and your LinkedIn pages and then your website. You know, just try typing in your name in Google and see what happens. Um, it's credibility factor first, so if they want to be in business, <laughs> that's the ROI. They get to be in business is one of my first things that I like to tell them. But I would look up and I'd start tracking. There are, um, myriad of monitoring tools out there. So you have to keep the statistics. It's a hard 
it's like, it's, but the other analogy you can take, just like Allison was saying earlier, it's like it's going to a networking meeting. If you tell your clients to go to networking meetings and they want to know the ROI on that, okay, how, how are you checking the ROI? How many clients are you getting? That kind of thing. So it's, it's, this is like online networking meetings. Okay, we, just, we have one more time for one question. Hi, I'm Beth Kennedy from Cubana. Hi. And I had a question about LinkedIn. Um, you talked to us about all of the other um, methods. Um, what's your opinion of that, and is it effective or not? I love LinkedIn. Sorry I didn't mention it earlier. I mean, we only have so much time. But yes, LinkedIn is huge. First of all, it's your power resume. You know, all your, your experience is there. You can put up slideshows, you can put up videos, and you can get recommendations professional recommendations right there. Um, the other thing is you can, you can, they have the best search. So if you want to go search for like CEOs within 50 miles of your your area or zip code, so easy to search for them. And find I find them. That I, they get a lot of business from LinkedIn. So um, this is phenomenal. And if you have other questions, I know you all have more questions. I'm sorry we don't have more time. But Seek Laura out, will be here for quite a while. Again, she teaches uh, a program for the elite group, and she also works privately with my royal members to put a, their own strategy together. Um, so uh, seek her out and ask your questions, your burning questions. And if you want to sign up for my free social media you know, handbook or download it at transformtoday.com. Thank you. All right, thank you.